Hello everybody, I'm Nisworm here. Welcome back to the Insula Populi Mega Campaign in Imperator Rome. In the last episode, we were kind of hemmed in a little bit because Contestani had an alliance with uh, Kempsia over here and really couldn't do anything with that. And when an opportunity did present itself, Aravasia, my big ally to the north, was embroiled in another big war that they had with their ally... Up here, Lemovicia. So, we kind of got stuck a little bit, but Contestani no longer has an alliance with Kemsia. No longer allied. They're once again allied with Oratania. Now, the question is going to be. Is that alliance stronger than ours? We'll have to see. Oh, and also we had a civil war. Finally having to confront the various disloyal elements of our society. And uh, we managed to defeat them and uh, dealt with it. So, that was good. We've come out in a little bit of a weaker place than we were in, but that's alright. It's all right. I'll deal with it. Okay, so I think the first thing we're going to do... Is we're going to raise all levies. Because I think, at least in this game... We can declare war with our levies raised. Unlike in... Crusader Kings, for example. Oh, man. I'm going to go with the morale of armies in this case. Okay. I want to look at my commanders, who's loyal, who might not be. You have a hundred loyalty, excellent. You have a hundred loyalty, even better, and you have a hundred loyalty, perfect. That is exactly what I want to see. We need a new researcher. Preferably from the Gunal family, if at all possible. Yeah, we can. Okay. We have a claim. You're allied with Oritania. If we declare war, Aravasia will join. Still Oritania. You have 6,000 troops right there. Do it! They have honored our military alliance. We're no longer importing stone. Doesn't matter. Import some stone from Rome. There we go. I was waiting. 11,000 troops? No, no, no. That's just a mercenary company. Alright, I'm going to wait for their armies to start marching.
Alright, let's start laying siege. That's 13,000 men. They were very quickly defeated. Our stability has decreased. Okay, we've had a, um, you're actually not bad. Soccer beak. Alright, we handily won that battle. Excellent. What's going on over here? You're at war with Kemsia. Kemsia has continued to expand. That is... Not great. All right, another battle victory. Excellent. You find Okay. All right, siege is complete. Excellent. Marlo Carbia has accused Sackerbeak of some imagined slight. Is now a rebuffing all right, we're seeing people's rivals. Very well. Like, once this siege is complete, this is gonna basically... full... full siege. Uh, my ruler is unmarried. Okay. Let's arrange a marriage. Who is good? Everybody's fully loyal. Our guy's not a good marshal, so if we could marry someone who's a good marshal... None of these women are young enough to have kids. Um, let's seek spouse. Select head of family to approach. Um, I 
you let's see you're married Marriage contracts are never ended into lightly. Traditionally, this is how two families are bound together, not just in matrimony, but also in a political alliance. A rare search has begun for a suitable match among the many relatives of the Gunal family. Once a suitable match has been found... Alright. Died of dysentery. <laughs> All right, these two women are at each other's throats. It, it doesn't really matter. Be a master of the guard. You think you're going to blockade my ports? Seems the governor of Terra Nessus has been taking advantage of his position. Has Colcus Lagunas not taking care of those under his rule, but he has taken advantage of the situation for the sake of personal wealth. All right, we have a bunch of war score if we were to sue for peace. Accept that. I should probably just take what I can get, actually. Take some territory from Oritania as well. Just a tiny little bit of territory. I'll still take it. Yeah, do it.
And now you are at war with a whole pile of people. I would rather not Carthage take that territory. Take Baetitia. All right. Well, we'll have to see what happens. Oritania wants military access. You you sure about that? Ah, Carthage is trying to get into Oritania. I see. No. We're going to decline the offer. I think you're a little bit busy. Here's what we are going to do, though. We're going to fabricate a claim. And I am going to go ahead and disband my levies. Rome wants to import stone. Sakarbeek has enjoyed a life immensely as a man of leisure. He summoned an envoy this very morning to deliver a proposal of marriage to the splendid young maiden Bonasonis, hoping to produce heirs for future legitimize the Therian dynasty. Despite the appearance of Anna, head of the Gunalian family, it seems that all concerns were salved by the mournful background wailings that... Sacrabake had offered up in support of his proposal. I don't know what that means. 16 years old. She's pretty decent. All right. Yeah. Let's arrange the festivities. Low food supply. No, it's not. Loyalty is positive. Excellent. Loyalty over here is also positive. Also excellent. I'd like to grab the rest of Contestania or Contestani. Good 
The rumors that some escaped slaves were forming gangs, joining their forces to repay misery upon a society that once enslaved them. These brigands are causing quite a bit of chaos, leaving a trail of death and destruction in their wake. It is even said that they have built camps in one of our settlements. A complete utter lack of respect they are showing to gymnasium law. The pressure is building to do something. We aren't going to allow these robbers to operate in gymnasium with impunity, are we? We lose 1,500 manpower. Alright. Well, that'll just bring us down to zero, so be it. Our scouts have tracked the location of the abandoned encampment, and the final preparations are being made for attack. The robbers are smarter than one would think. They've been raiding slave estates, freeing the captives, and swelling their numbers. Although we expected a simple skirmish, all the signs are pointing to a desperate pitched battle. The slaves will not surrender their freedom easily. I will lead our warriors personally into battle. We gain the brave trait. Is what? Brave. Okay. Martial attraction is air. All right, banner camp triumphant. Although the fight was perilous, the forces of Gymnasia were able to beat back the slave rebel. Utterly destroying any that stood their ground and fought. As the tide of battle turned, a vast multitude surrendered and were immediately clapped in fetters. The slave markets in Palma will be full within a fortnight. Still, as the saying goes, a pack of dogs can defeat a single lion. Though Sakabik, Theria, fought valiantly, he took a spear to the face and unfortunately lost an eye. And he said by this turn of events, and discovering the treasure hoard of the bandits only eases the pain slightly. We gain 135 gold. Okay. 135 gold is enough to do a bit. Like, for example, get me another local building slot. Yeah, do it. Yep, they can import stone. Start upgrading Mago. Additional building slots. Alma does, though. I need a greenery. A tax office. We'll go with that. We're still working on fabricating that claim. Excellent. And their war with Carthage just ended. Oh, it would break a truce, right? We have a truce for another year. Okay. No big deal. We beat them once, we can beat them again. I don't like the fact that Carthage is beginning to encroach in this region. I don't like that at all.
Our trade agreement, our boss, has yielded a splendid return on investment. Excellent. So I think this makes both the remainants, uh, remainants, remnants of Contestani and Oritania as vulnerable targets. And Rome has integrated Sardinia. Okay. And that Dishonored Alliance is still burning off. So try and get this and maybe that. Yeah, this. Yeah, I get that. Then we'll maybe start working on building up the fleet some more. Our Avasi is in a war, but you have not called me to arms. We're at war with those guys. And those guys. I don't know who this is. These guys. Okay. Uh, hope you can take them on. Miss of a fellow season, Colchis Lagunas, one of our most esteemed governors, is a lavish party. Demand his resignation. I would rather not, but. Uh, demand payment to the territory. We'll do that. That's you. Loyalty down here is dropping a little. Governor corruption. Uh, do we still have our truce? Yes, we do. But I'll need to wait till Aravasia is out of their war. Oh, I'm paused. All right. Good. Means we can now build that extra port. This will become like our big shipyard. Mongo has greater equal to four port buildings. Oh, 
Omen will go with the commerce income. that October all right we're almost there Kemsia wants to wants to be an ally we accept their offer All right, then. Yeah, we'll resolve that once we are able to consolidate this territory. Go ahead and end the episode here. We're going to get our levies raised, consolidated, and ready to go. And then we're going to declare war here. And I'm going to try and take as much of this as I can. All right. But for now, we will stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.